Hello dear students, Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Umar Farooq Sumro, subject teacher of social studies, SST of class 8. So students, I hope all of you are fine by the blessings of Almighty Allah. Students, this is your book of SST class 8 that is shown on your screen. This is your book of SST that was written by Peter Moss. In this book, you have to read 18 chapters. The book contains 18 chapters and we have to read one by one respectively. So students, I will tell you before starting the first lecture of SST, we have made our WhatsApp groups as all of you know about it and also a YouTube channel where we share our videos on daily basis. You can collect your lectures from YouTube and you will be given your homework and your assignments there and you have to complete your assignments and homework and submit those on whatsapp groups you will get the reply of your homeworks okay so students our first lecture is about section number one geography or geography you can read it geography or geography because all of you know meaning of this word geography so i will repeat it for you Geo means earth and graphy means study or information. So geography means geography means study about earth is called geography. Okay. Or information about earth is called geography. This is your chapter number one, the universe. The universe in which we live, there are many stars, galaxies, planets, moons, sun okay clusters and other galaxies so students in this chapter we have some objectives or we can call it some topics to read about first of all as you can see this picture here this is called the hubble telescope and you can also see this picture this picture is taken by the hubble telescope that is in space Hubble telescope this is in space and a distance from six, from earth 600 kilometers as you can read from this passage this is a photograph taken by the Hubble telescope which is in a spacecraft 600 kilometers above the earth okay now its mirror is 240 centimeters in diameter and because it is it is far above the dusty cloudy atmosphere of the earth it can see much more clearly into outer space so students as we see with our eyes or with cameras or with microscope or sorry not with microscopes with cameras or our eyes we we see stars moon and the light of moon stars okay but we cannot see much more clearly from the earth than the space because of the Hubble telescope is above 600 kilometers above the earth, it can see much more clearly because on earth there is dust, there are clouds. But above the earth there are no clouds and there is no dust that the Hubble telescope can capture a very clear picture. Okay, so what is Hubble telescope? It is a space telescope that was launched into low earth orbit and remains in operation. It was not the first it was not the first space telescope but it is one of the largest and most versatile well known both as a vital research tool and as a public relations boon for astronomy. What is astronomy or what is astronomer a person who read reads about the space is called astronomer or travels in space is called astronomer and astronomy means study about space is called astronomy okay clear so students distances in space are so huge that we cannot mirror them in kilometers we cannot mirror the distance in space in kilometers. We cannot say 100 kilometers, 
500 kilometers, 10,000 kilometers. We cannot say this because our Earth is a very small planet and space is a very, very, very huge. Okay, distances in space are so huge that we cannot measure them. We cannot measure them in kilometers. And astronomers use light years. They use light years to measure the distance in space. What is light year? Now we have to define light years. Light travels at 299,792,458 meters per second. As you can see in the passage, 299,792,458 meters per second. That is well over 1 billion kilometers an hour. That is well over 1 billion kilometers an hour, which means nearly 9.5 trillion kilometers in a year. A light year contains 9.5 trillion kilometers. Can you guess about the distance? 9.5 trillion kilometers. The total diameter or space of our Earth is so small not 9.5 trillion kilometers in a year okay so the hubble telescope has photographed many stars okay so as distant that hubble telescope has photographed stars as distant as you can see 12 billion light years away the hubble telescope has photographed stars as distant as 12 billion light years one light year contains 9.5 trillion kilometers and the hubble telescope has photographed stars as a distance of 12 billion kilometers 12 billion light years away not 1200 km 12 billion kilometers 12 billion light years okay we just cannot understand such distances if we sit down and guess about the distance 12 billion light years away so it would take the nearest star will take 32 billions okay as you can see here 32 billion kilometers from the earth and to reach it will take 91.3 years as you read in the stories and see films of space travel distance to stars of course this is quite impossible because a machine or a rocket cannot run or cannot travel 91.3 years okay today rockets can travel at a speed of 40,000 kilometers the nearest star is 32 billion kilometers from the earth and to reach it will take 91.3 years students as you can guess no machine in is when is invented to take a travel of 91.3 years no machine is designed or invented yet to make a travel of 91.3 years okay so students I told you about Hubble telescope, about light year, about astronomy or astrology. So I will repeat it for you. The Hubble telescope is a space telescope that was launched into low earth orbit and remains in operation. It was not the first space telescope, but it is one of the largest and most versatile well known both as a vital research tool vital research tool and as a public relations boon for astronomy okay and then light year what is light year light travels a 299,792,458 meters per second that is well over 1 billion kilometers an hour which means nearly 9.5 trillion kilometers in a year okay and a person trained to a travel in a spacecraft is called astronaut and study of physical universe beyond the earth atmosphere is called astrology 
study of the physical universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere is called astrology. Okay, so students, this was our first lecture that was contained on the Hubble telescope about the light year, astronaut and astrology as I told you. So what you have to do in our second lecture, you have to read book page number 2 and 3. You have to read book page number 2 and 3. We will continue our second lecture from book page number 2 and 3. For now, our end lecture ends here. So students, we will meet our second lecture. Still, Allah Hafiz.